Okay, so <clears throat> I've done another small, uh, cute project, I guess. Uh, I put a flashlight on my glasses. <laughs> um, that there is a bullet shell, and then I've got brass wire connectors, pieces of brass sheet, brass wire, all kinds of things, uh, all soldered and bolted together to, uh, originally just to repair the joint still completely works. Actually has stops. But yeah, it's a flashlight. Uh, quite a bright one too. Power supply is battery pack that hides behind my ears because my ears are huge. That might change to a lithium polymer later on anyway. And then there's this kind of strapped in piece of wire actually goes through the plastic there and again up here it's wrapped up and pretty strong uh, there's actually a bunch of electronics inside of here because this is just a continuity switch a very sensitive one so the whole chassis is ground and that little dial there which is actually the um, uh, time setting dial on a mechanical or electromechanical watch. But here's the circuit with uh, approximate component analogs for size. It's just stuff lying around on the table. But uh, nice and simple. Transistor driver. 50 ohm uh, current limiting. 2.7 pull-up resistor, and then uh, 27k input protection. I didn't choose those values for any specific reasons, just I wanted something very big and high impedance here. Something half decent for I.O. protection there, because I plan to hook a microcontroller up to this later. Uh, but that's, <laughs> you can barely see, the resistors, the transistor, and these are the LEDs I used. This is actually the backlight strip off of an iPhone screen uh, 4 uh, or 4S. They're very, very bright, very directional LEDs. So I soldered four of them together, back to back. And there's also a capacitor in there in parallel uh, for pulse width modulation later on, just kind of smoothing it out because uh, I'm going to put a microcontroller in here and do brightness control, strobe modes, um, all kinds of different things. But, very tiny stuff. I even went to the trouble of machining a lens out of our acrylic. Uh, it's actually got little rings in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Um, so it actually looks kind of like a glass lens. And then in the back again, there's another piece of machined acrylic. I've got the lights out, so I can show you this. Uh, in daylight, it's not a very impressive flashlight, but in the dark, passable. Definitely practical. Anyway, so that's my wearable flashlight. Bullet shell. <laughs> uh, oh, for size ref, I guess, uh, that's an M3 screw. quarter watt resistor. Oh yeah, this wire is actually 10 conductor individually lacquered uh, Litz cable then wrapped in nylon. So it should take lots and lots and lots of motion. Um, I've got a bit of it anyway, so 
if I need to rewire it, that's not an issue. But this will be more fun when I get the microcontroller on it. Anyway, I've been rambling about this too long. Later.